Faith, what's going on? So this exercise is the rear lunge. I prefer the rear lunge over the forward lunge uh, outside of a walking lunge. Uh, walking lunges, of course, I'd rather go forward. But one, one of the advantages that I find with the rear lunge is, one, I'm older. <laughs> so my knee, I got to think about my knees a lot more than I used to. But with the rear lunge, I'm stepping back. I'm stepping back. So because I'm stepping back, I'm automatically taking, instead of going forward and shifting my weight onto my, my forward leg and leaning in, because sometimes we step and kind of lean in, and now we're starting to jut that weight as the, the knee starts to jut forward. Of course, on a forward lunge, you want to step and go down, but sometimes people forget. So I like to prescribe a lot of rear lunges where you're stepping backwards and down and coming up. Step back. Now, ultimately, you want to get a 90 degree angle here, here, back there, ultimately, right? But some of us have different limits, different abilities, and we're going to work on our limits. But you go down as far as you feel comfortable on the move, and then coming back up. Just stepping back and coming back up. And another thing about the rear lunge is because you go into that backwards position, it's kind of similar, very similar to if we were doing a squat. In the squat, we go down this way, right? So in the rear lunge, it allows that same movement, but I'm able to get down even further if, if, I, if I have that flexibility and strength in the knees and the ligaments, all right? So rear lunge, we're just stepping back, come up, step back, come up. And another point I like to make is that when this forward leg that's staying forward, my weight is in the heel of that leg, then as I'm going down, and up, down, and up. And for anybody that wants to do like the single legs, squats, things like that, then it's kind of the same movement except for not putting your foot on the ground. So stick with your rear lunge, go down, bring it up. And then off of your rear lunge, you can add other exercises to it. You could do a rear lunge and curl, right? Heck, you could. Rear lunge with a curl and press, holding that ISO. There's a lot of different movements you can add to that rear lunge, especially if you're in a combination exercise like I am. All right, so I talked to you to death, but the basis was do rear lunges. Step and up. Step and up. All right, so I will see you with the next video.